Hello, good morning, good afternoon, hope everyone's doing well today. I've rumbled a little bit, I'm a low-key tired because um, I was up till like 4 o'clock watching a K-drama and I didn't go for my bike ride this morning because it was way too like frosty and icy so like I'm like out of it today. So another chill day has started which like I kind of need. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, so we had finished off our first week of spring yesterday, so now we're going to be primarily focusing on grinding money. Oh, we're going to have to upgrade our house today. Oh, I needed to um, up or donate to the comm center. That's what I needed to do because when we go check our weekly mission. Okay, so we're going to go upgrade our... Or what you call it, our house. And then when we're going there, we're going to um, donate stuff. So I have a checklist here. I should not show my screen. I Okay. I'm very, like, anxious about showing my screen. Like, on stream. Screen on stream. But if you just disable, like, drop down notifications, then you're pretty much safe. Like, you can't really leak anything. Okay, so we need two maple syrup. A, I need one earth crystal, I think. Yeah, one earth crystal. Did we need hardwood? Yeah, ten hardwood, okay. I'm only gonna do like one trip a week. And then we need one copper. And then one gold bar. Do I have I don't have any iron boards, so let's go ahead and make one. A And then oak resin, we need two. And then we need stone. E 
pine tar. There's one pine tar. And then we needed slime, I think. A 99 slime. Here we go. And then got the stone. I'm just gonna get the exact amount. Make it easier. Ah! Oh, it was close. Four off. That was super close. And then I know we need honey for one of them. Yeah, we need one jar of honey. And what else do we need? Oh, we don't have enough iridium for iridium bar, but that's okay. And then, I think we need one cave carrot. Yep, one cave carrot. Do we need a spring onion? No. You know we need a wild horseradish. Okay. You know we need a winter root. Because I like to donate my stuff in, like, large batches. I don't like making too many trips back and forth. Red mushroom. I think we needed two... Yep, two red mushroom. And then... Crocus? I think we need a crocus, yeah. And crystal fruit. Yep, we need one of those. Holly? Nope, we don't need holly. Common mushroom, yes, we need. Hazelnut, maybe? Yep, we need a hazelnut. Okay, we're gonna wait to donate the leek because we don't have. Um, we need that for our weekly mission, so I'd rather hold on to those. We have a snow yam. Daffodil? Yep, we need a daffodil. Let's get a memorial mushroom, I think. Yep. Okay. Put a few more things. Crystals. Aquamarine. Fire quartz. Frozen geode, frozen tear. Okay, cool. So inventory is full. So when we head over to do the check the weekly mission, we can pop by the comm center. Ooh. Ah, oh, yeah, we need that leak. We absolutely need it. <laughs> Oh, wait, what? Oh, it's down here. I was like, how did it not unlock it? <laughs> oh, do they not unlock? Oh, no, I thought... Go. Nice, okay. I forgot that they don't all unlock at once.
Okay, it's a good thing I didn't get all the fish first. Nice! It's so nice to like just do them all at once. It's so satisfying. If you don't pick it up, you lose it, I found out, which sucks. Okay. I'll have to come back another time to do those. I think we have everything for this one. Nice. There we go. You see what we get? Oh, 30 winter seeds? That's actually really good. Let's go. I think the hardest one to do, honestly, is the vault one. You have to save up so much money for it. Oh, I don't have any crops in my inventory. Oh, we can drop the honey off. Y es todo. That is a-okay. That's just fish, which we don't- we didn't grab any. Marine. I know I grabbed that. Okay, next. Oh, I forgot to grab the iron bar, Sag. I didn't get the cores. I should have grabbed that instead. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, cool. So let me just see what... The only thing I didn't donate was a cave care, so I gotta take that off the list again. And then... Yeah, I donated everything else. Cool. Got some good stuff. Okay, so let's go check our weekly mission and then go upgrade our house. I think I did the hardwood mission already. So you can go ahead and try the strong stuff mission. Let's see what it is. Oh, so I have to keg 12 potatoes. Okay, so I'll see. What do I need to make kegs? Oh, that's totally doable. Okay. So we're going to go upgrade our house, go back home, make more kegs, and then harvest our crops. Because there's a lot of stuff that was ready. 
Why well, should buy more seeds while I'm here? Okay, that's good. So I think the house upgrade is only 10k, so not too bad. You can go ahead and go start on the questions now. What was the longest you have gone without sleep? I would have to say, like, maybe 20 hours. Like, anything longer than that, like, I can't do. Because, like, you can definitely try and, like, muster and, like, try and stay up. But, like, once I hit, like, the 20 hour mark, just, like, a massive wave of fatigue. And it's like totally not manageable. Cause there's like, like last night for example, like I wanted to stay up and like keep watching the show. And like I, I made it till three. And that day I woke up at seven. So yeah, I guess I was up for 20 hours that day. <laughs> um, I think also just like being able to like have like the mentality to like psych myself <clears throat> into making like making myself stay up like I just can't like mentally I can't like make myself do it I guess Let's get another question. <laughs> what are some things you shouldn't say at work? I, I hope the question is not going to make me say them, you know? <laughs> um, I'm trying to use like a different website for questions every day or every other day. And I remember I found this one and I found some of the questions kind of sus. And this is one of the questions. <laughs> um. But, like, my stance on things is, like, yes, there's, like, things you should not talk about work, especially you concerning, like, workplace harassment, that type of thing. Like, to me, if you're managing things in a way in which you're making feel people feel, like, uncomfortable, then that's not okay, right? But also, like, I understand that there's, like, some contexts in which some joking around is okay with certain individuals. So, like, I know for me, like, I'm not going to get too tilted. Like, I will always establish, like, personal boundaries individually with people before I make certain jokes or comments. Cause, like, that's just my humor, right? Like, I know I turn it down for stream, but, like, normally, like, I'm kind of, like, vulgar. Like, that's just how I am. So like, yes, like topics in which you make people feel uncomfortable, especially concerning like sexual harassment or like inappropriate comments or advances. And also, I think it's important to make people feel included. Like it's very easy to like have like clicks in your workplace, kind of like school, right? Because a lot of people going into the workforce are either like just out of like high school or like out of college if it's in the of like a specialized workplace setting so you still have like that mentality of like school and clicks that type of thing and also kind of like how you choose who you take your lunch break with that type of thing like i think it's important to make people feel included Ooh, i'm gonna have to buy more seats tomorrow sheesh Oh! 
Oh my god, that's bullshit. <laughs> All that wood wasted. Not cool. Okay, so let's go make those preserve jars. Or kegs, rather. What is your breakfast food? I'm a sucker for, like, scrambled eggs. Like, let's be honest. Pretty simple, straightforward. I love French toast a lot. I tried making my own. It did not come out well. <laughs> but <laughs> it was still pretty good. Because, like, when I made it, I didn't, like, fully whisk my eggs properly. So there was, like, globs of, like, yolk and globs of white egg. But I'm not super, super picky when it comes to that type of thing. Like, I'm not going to get mad about it, you know? Because, like, when I eat food, I don't mind if stuff isn't fully combined. Unless it's, like, a baked good, then that tastes gross, right? Like, I used to be really picky about, like, if my food was, like, touching each other sometimes. But now I'm just, like, I don't mind if, like, my ham touches, like, the cranberry jello. Like, I don't get tilted about that kind of stuff anymore. Oh, I needed to keg potatoes. I just put them away. I also needed to get more veggies to pickle anyway. And she needed 12. And then let's see what other veggies we can pickle. Not much in there. I'm gonna hold on to berries for now. So I, I, I usually will just pick all my veggies and then... I was supposed to ferment my fucking honey! Oh my god, I forgot. God dang it. It's too late now. That's annoying. I totally forgot that you can do that. Okay. So let's see, what else can we do for the rest of the day? Not much really, so we can just work on clearing stuff out. put here maybe a few fruit trees like just a few I was just clearing in a path there because I forgot to make a path along here.
Let's get another question. Would you rather have to sit all day or stand all day? Ooh. I know for work, I used to have to stand on your feet for like 18 hours, right? And like, that was fine. But also like, it was exhausting, right? And now that like, I'm not working, I'm basically sitting all day. And that is also like, not good for your body too. So, ooh. I think like, standing all day would be better. Depending on like, the like, strenuous labor you're doing. Like, if you're doing, like, excessively, like, heavy lifting, then that's not as cool, <laughs> I guess. But, like, sitting is kind of, like, it's a lot of irreversible damage that can happen if you sit all day. I guess both are bad, but I guess I would stand all day for work. Oh, I gotta get that leak. I hope I can get enough leaks. Like, so I don't think I've ever done this leak mission. Ooh. Saw some squiggly bits. Ooh, we can make wood into coal. We literally only have 150 wood, so that's probably not a good idea right now. Yeah, those are all summer, so I, yeah, I need to buy more seeds tomorrow. I wonder if you can ferment the manies. Tomorrow we're gonna buy more seeds. Why is the cat's in the bed? Okay, there we go. <laughs> um, we're gonna buy more seeds and then probably mine because we need more coal. Oh, uh, 5k. Oh, I need to make um, the loom. A wood fiber pine. Oh my god, I need to close the gate. Guys can't escape. Yeah, I can't buy more feed today, either, because Marnie's not going to be there. So it was wood, fiber, and then pine tar. Let's go, I remembered correctly. There we go. I have no wood. Let's go ahead and when we go buy more seeds, we can donate more stuff to the comm center. Oh, 
Well, we also have to do gifts today, too. Okay. Oh, there it is. Okay. So, I know we need cheese. And then goat cheese. Cheese. Goat cheese. Oh, I don't have any duck eggs, huh? white and then a large brown oh I don't I didn't save my milks okay that's okay okay so nothing else here let's go ahead and grab a bottle of wine okay we got our bottle of wine We can also grab a preserve jar to donate to when we're here. Oh, then we also have a duck feather. Let's go see what else we can do need. Oh, iron bar. Nice, we have one. Iron bar. And then we need solar essence, just one. Our jelly, a quartz. Don't they? Oh, aki aki. The fruit. Okay, so we needed one apricot, cherry. One cherry, orange, peach, two palms. We needed a plum. I think we needed a plum for something. And two palms. Well, we got two, four apples, ooh, we just have one rut row, ooh, we might have to buy an apple tree and try and get that at least planted, because we need four, spice berry. Got one of those. Um, three. It's a blackberry. Oh, Aki, okay. Got a grape. Dandelion and fiddlehead fern. Oh, I didn't have any dandelions. That was it. Coconut. And then cactus. And then blackberry. Did I say I where did I put the flowers? I think I put them here. Did I not save any sunflowers? Oh my god, I totally... Did I not? 
Oh my god, I didn't. That's a bummer, dude. Ah! Rookie mistake. Okay, so we need five gold star melons. And then... Got a five corn. It... I don't have any parsnips, so we're gonna do five pumpkins. Okay, cool. So we should get more... Sections filled out now. Okay. So we're gonna donate. Buy some seeds. Oh, I gotta donate first. <laughs> There we go. Fall seeds, nice. Bago. Oh, we're so close to doing the spring foraging. Here we go. I know there's a lot of overlap for certain items, so. Oh, a keg! Nice, we actually need that right now. Let's go. Oh, we love preserved jars. I don't have any of those. No, okay. Doing good. Got a few more cranked up. Only thing is a rabbit's foot. Let's go. Ooh, we love furnaces. Yeah. The minecart one is the easiest one to do. Let's be honest. I don't need that ring. Because once you, like, finish it, you lose any prizes if you don't claim them. And it sucks. Like, once you exit out of this screen, it's gone forever. Like, you can't go back and claim it, which is something I didn't realize. Like, I missed out on a few items on my other save. We are the Junimos, Keepers of the Forest. Oh, Flint's gonna love this.
<laughs> that guy's jump roping. There we go. Golden star on the board just for me. Okay. Go buy some seeds. Oh, I forgot we're supposed to gift today. Oh, I do have preserves. We can gift preserve jars. I guess. Mm. Get a few more garlic. Kale. I had to buy a stupid apple tree. God, I fucking forgot. I feel so DUM right now. Now, I think that sucks about having Robin upgrade your stuff is she can't- you can't talk to her, so like you can't give her gifts when she's upgrading your buildings. That's the only thing I don't like. Because I feel like she's missing out, you know? Oh, why is Willie here? Got a fish that's stuck in my thumb. Doctor's gotta cut it out. Ooh, that sucks, man. I've never had that dialogue. Manasimaru! There we Oh, because he heals you, right? But it's for an upcharge, I think. Yeah. Oh, George likes to jam. The W. I think the kids are in the library. Gus is here. I still don't know like the best route for gift giving yet. I feel like I did it out of order today. He's not here. Elliot is like the- I think his name is Elliot, the author guy. It's also hard to find his like hiding spots, I guess. Let me check if he's birding by the docks. I know I can like look up walkthroughs, but it just feels like it's cheating. <gasps> there he is! Nice. We haven't talked to Kent much. Oh no, Tom. Shoot. Mm 
No one's here either. Okay, let's see if the merchant is there. Because she might have a sunflower. Oh, she's not there. Man. Yeah. Oh, I gotta give the wizard something. What is the best part of your day? If I wanted to be really baity, I would say streaming. But honestly, I really like my bike rides. Because, like, just, like, get, getting moving and, like, it's so, like, satisfying. Because, like, you do feel, like, tired afterwards, but, like, it's so nice, like, nice to get that energy out. And I just love the feeling of wind on my face. It's so nice and refreshing. And then also, like, washing up, like, bathing is so, like, nice to do. Because you, you just feel so, like, clean, like, and warm. It's comforting, I guess. Was my inventory full? Oh, it is, Sag. That's fine. You don't really need more shreddish. We've yet to see any leaks today. Tell me about your dream house. Ooh. I'm, ma I'm mainly thinking of like aesthetics. I really like, I like the look of like glass houses. I think, I really like modernist like architecture. Because to me it feels like more simplistic, minimalistic, and like creative, I guess. Because there's like a lot of expression with not a lot, right? That's why like I kind of appreciate modern like architecture. But in terms of like interior decorating, um, I can't I can't think of like the actual, <laughs> um, what you call it, like the name of the aesthetic. But it's kind of like bohemian, I guess. Is that aesthetic? I really like that look. Okay, we can hold on to the dandelion because we're going to donate that another time.
Okay, I'm ready for the next stage. So I definitely want to plant seeds. Did I plant more? No, I de I, yes, I did replant seeds this morning. I want to plant seeds and then mine tomorrow because we absolutely need more coal. <gasps> oh, yes, the minecarts are done. It's going to be a huge game changer. Up oh, three, hey. Okay, an iron bar, cool. We love that. As you can see, I almost have just enough for an apple tree. But even if I could afford it today, the shop is still closed. It's not open on Wednesdays yet. chop down some trees and then go mining. Go ahead and get another top pick. Ooh, which is better being boss or employee? Being boss, obviously, you get to keep all the money. Capitalism. Um, for real, I think it depends on what you want out of, like, your work. If you have, like, ambition and, like, the funding to, like, be your own boss, that's cool. Like, go for it. But also, if you're an employee, then you can, for the most part, if you're like hourly, you can clock in, clock out. Like, you don't have to worry too much about work past the, the hours or days you're working, right? But, um, if you're the boss, then you have to worry typically about, like, being on call or, like, handling situations or issues. Especially, like, that's what I, I liked working with people when I was managing, but also, like, having to worry about work when you weren't there and also have to worry about like if someone messed up you'd be responsible like i didn't like that aspect at all like i think that's the thing that people really like the idea of content creation or just streaming or posting online because you have a lot of freedom on what you do but also you have to make sure you're keeping yourself accountable and also keeping on top of posting, making good or better content. Because this this is like a thing that's really troubling me because not saying that I deserve viewers because having that kind of mindset is not healthy, right? But like also, it, it just feels like people are doing stuff that aren't genuine. Or they're doing stuff just to get numbers and it doesn't feel like right in my eyes, I guess. Like, I would rather stream forever with no viewers and then pop off at some point because people like the personality or the content rather than getting numbers just to like look better because I have bigger numbers, right? Because when you're doing like online stuff, it's a lot of like self accountability. And that's why like a lot of people quit because they can't handle not being successful right away. Successful. Did I go in here yet? Oh, I didn't, Sedge.
So I think it depends on what your own personal aspirations are and then like what you want to pursue. Like if you're pursuing something creative, the best thing you can do is just make stuff. Because for the most part you're going to be working under somebody, but like just getting used to making stuff, working on projects. Then you're going to get better and then once you like gained up your skill enough, then you can probably be offered something, right? Once someone sees your talent. We're going to hold on to these to donate. Let's go mining. Because, like, I know for me, I've always liked the idea, oh, Malik, nice, of having, like, my own product or brand. I really like, like, that's the goal in 10 years. Or within 10 years. Like, I want to have a product or a brand. Because, like, just the idea of having something to call your own is really, like, attractive to me. And also saying that, like, you've made something is, like, so amazing to me. Like, it's different if, like, you grew up with, like, wealth and you, like, had something and then you just had more influence, I guess. But, like, coming from nothing would be so cool to me, I guess. I know today I'm not wording stuff as, like, eloquently as I normally do. It's just because, like, I'm so fucking tired. <laughs> um, the show I was watching last night, it was really interesting because it was, um, I use Vicky. It's a streaming site for, like, Asian dramas or shows. And the show that I'm watching right now was released this year. And it's kind of, it's, it's like sci-fi horror romance, I guess? Because, like... It's like a spoof on zombies. And it's really weird because it was obviously filmed during the pandemic, right? Because it in the show they all like they blatantly like say like, oh, coronavirus is still there, but like you don't have to wear a mask. And it's just like, oh, this is it's like weird that like it's in like modern day during like a pandemic. And like the premise was that like, yes, COVID is still going on, but like also zombies. <laughs> so people were like you got tested for COVID? And she's like, no, I got tested because I might be a fucking zombie. <laughs> like, it, the shots are really cool. Actors are really pretty and cute. But, like, the writing, it could be, like, a transition translation issue, but, like, the writing isn't, like, as good. But it's, I, I, watch, I watch the first two episodes because, like, each, I think there's 12 episodes, each is an hour. Um, it's called Happiness, I think. But I just want to see, like, because there's, like, like certain avenues you can take if you're doing, like, some. You can do, like, survivalist. You can do, like, society, like, collapsing and, like, focusing on, like, the characters. But this show seems like it's going to be focused on, like, more so, like, um, like, the actual, not the aftermath, like, once everyone's dead. But more so like the actual like start of the outbreak which is interesting because i don't see many stuff that focuses on that because usually it'll just show like an outbreak happening and then like people surviving kind of like the walking dead was like that kind of premise i've only really seen that So I was up all day watching that. <laughs> I was also up late talking to friends. So, like I started watching it at like midnight and then I stayed up till three. <laughs> Cause like when you're watching stuff, I watch, 
It, okay, the only things I watched dubbed, like anime-wise, is stuff that I watched with English dub when I was little. So like Sailor Moon, or in high school, like those are the only dubs that I'll watch. Otherwise, like, subs all the way, right? And like, I will usually watch my K-dramas at night, so like when I'm like winding down and like getting out of it. And I feel bad because like sometimes like I'll fall asleep watching it or like I'll like black out for like a minute and come back and you just miss so much dialogue because like you can't listen to it really because you don't un or I don't understand it so you have to like pay attention and like read the captions thoroughly Let's get into the question. What was the last movie you saw? Um, last movie that I saw was like a Korean rom-com. But like last movie in theaters was Sonic. I haven't gone to the theaters since pandemic. And Sonic was kind of cool. Like the VFX, like I know people were clowning on it. But some of the renders were like kind of impressive. So like I wasn't too mad about it. Also, Jim Carrey was cool in it. And I think that was like his first like acting gig in years. I think he was like pursuing art or something for a bit. That was cool. I remember when we saw the movie, it was at our local like mall movie theater. And there was only like five people in the theater. Granted, it was like a week after it came out like midday a tuesday at noon so it makes sense that there wouldn't be many people there but also <laughs> there's only five other people in the theater and like four of those five no three of those five was like a mom and her two kids and then like two other goons like my sisters two like friends just gonna go watch a cringy movie Sonic 2 seems really cringe, let's be honest. I know the trailer dropped a bit ago. Like, I'd see it. Like, just a clown on it, you know? Now that we have the minecarts, we can definitely be out later and not have to worry too much. Which is a game changer, y'all. go to like the theaters again but it, there's not like there's nothing that I want to see so I'm very much like if I'm gonna go like expose myself then I'd rather go see like a movie that I really want to see like I remember when Parasite came out like I bought the YouTube version I would love to see Parasite in theaters I think that'd be so like the sound design was really interesting in that movie another Korean film that was like kind of mainstream two years back. Oh, we need seven leaks? Oh my god, I don't know if we're gonna be able to make it.
Okay, now we're good to go. we get okay I think today I want to check out the forest for wood and then mine we need more wood oh house is upgraded I'm gonna move the bed here just to like save time Okay, crab pot. I usually will buy crab pots instead of crafting them. <laughs> Hi, good morning. You seem to be doing well. The farm looks great. So, you've been here a while, and I'm sure you've acquired some cloth by now, right? Yep, just did. Well, did you know that you can use cloth to tailor all kinds of clothes? All you need is access to a sewing machine. And I happen to have one at my home. Feel free to swing by and use it anytime. Nice, you can make shit. To start tailoring, you'll need a piece of cloth and a secondary item. Experiment and see what unique styles are out there. I usually don't care too much about like aesthetics. So I usually won't. I haven't dabbled with the sewing machine at all yet. Oh, I also might be able to buy the apple tree today, too. Let's cross our fingers, we get more leagues, guys. It's got a question. If you found a hundred dollars on the ground, what would you do with it? I would leave it. Because... Okay, let's be honest. If you find... Oh fuck. It's different if you find, like, a wallet, right? Then you know who that money belongs to, right? Like, if you take money from a wallet, that's just, like, shitty to do. Right? But, like, if there's just money on the ground... I can leave that to like someone seeing them think you like stole it from somebody, right? If it's like a five, then I'll pick it up. If it's a ten, sure, but like a hundred, I would not pick it up. Like I would just That's kinda like just not inserting myself into like a potential confrontation, basically. Like if like I saw it drop out of someone's pocket, I would I'm gonna be honest, I would like to think that I would like pick it up and give it to them, but also like, that's just another competition, like, how would you, like, with that, because, like, I like to think people are nice, right? Like, I generally do, but then also, like, I get super scared about, like, what if someone is, like, not nice or, like, really not nice, you know what I mean? And also, like, it's not, it is a nice thing to do to, like, help them pick it up, right? But, like, is it really my like, civic duty to help them if, like, it's their fault that they lost it, I guess. Or they dropped it, rather. Because, like, thankfully I haven't, like, lost anything, like, a large sum of money or, like, I haven't lost my wallet. Mainly because, like, 
I'm pretty responsible with it. Like, I always put it in the same spot every day. Like, I always do pocket checks whenever I leave the house or, like, put on my coats. Like, I only wear coats that have, like, the zipper pocket. So, like, theoretically, it would be harder for someone to steal because, you know, you gotta tug on the zipper versus just, like, slip in your pocket. I mean, I'm sure pickpockets know how to, like, <laughs> undo zippers and shit. <laughs> but... Okay, let's get another one. What movies have we rewatched the most number of times? I think just like regular Disney Pixar movies. Like just for nostalgia sometimes. Because I, I really liked Bugs Life when I was little. So like I'll watch that once a year. Like any animated movie I really enjoy. Because like there's definitely like a crap. Like, not to say that traditional film isn't like. Like crafty. Like there seems like a lot more like passion goes into like animated works because you're not just simply like making and planning shots like you have artists collaborating you have film directors collaborating you have character designers collaborating and there's just so many intricate pieces for like just typically children's movies in which like animated movies are not just kids movies right Oh, I just realized, like, he usually closes, like, the shop is still open until 5, but he usually, like, leaves the counter at, like, 3, so I don't have enough time to buy the stupid apple tree. But, tomorrow, when we do gifts, when we deliver gifts, we should have time to buy an apple tree. We'll do that tomorrow. Let's get more seeds planted. Get rid of those seeds in the path. Because we just really need to get wood right now. I wish they would grow faster, like honestly. Okay. Let's get another question keyed up. What is your favorite drink? Well, easy clap. Um, controversial, I do like boba tea, but. I used to love the tapioca pearls, but like whenever I drink it, I don't like chew them. I just like slurp it. And it's not good for your digestion <laughs> if you like don't chew it properly. So like whenever I order, like I will usually get like either no boba or like just a little bit of boba. Like I usually just like the milk tea on its own. So I know like the boba is like the most important part, but I don't need it. <laughs> Yeah, I also need to get that auto feeder for, or auto collector, for this setup too.
I'm gonna put the honey in the shed. That way I remember that I have to ferment it. That way I don't forget again. Okay, let's go mining. I can squeeze in a few hours. another question what are you most thankful for this year i think I'm, I'm really thankful to my parents for like letting me take some time off from working that way i can focus on schooling like they have been very accommodating in terms of like me not having to have to pay my share of rent and that type of thing um that way i can focus on getting my degree done and like getting a real real job <laughs> And because of that, like, I have a lot more time to focus on, like, my schoolwork, and then in turn, like, just making stuff. Like I said earlier, the best way to, like, I guess pursue your passion is just do it, right? Like, I wouldn't see my passion as, like, being a personality, but I really like the, the idea of, like, making stuff. Like, I really like the production and the creation side of content making. So, like, I can totally see myself, like, once I gain more, like, experience, being, like, a producer or something. Like, I would love that. Because, like, I don't want to leak, but, like, a couple of friends and I are working on, like, I think a really good concept for stream idea. I don't. I'm not gonna leak anything. Is that what you mean? And also, just in case it falls through. But <laughs> like, I think it's gonna be good because now that Ludwig is gone, like, who's gonna be the next like show guy? You know what I mean? Like, hint a little bit. Because I know just for like creators that re I really admire, I I love Ludwig's content mainly because like it's so like YouTubey and baity, to like, it's like fake but also like entertaining. You know what I mean? Because like if you watch his YouTube videos, like it all just seems like shtick and like really fake. But like when you watch his streams, it's a lot more genuine, right? And I I like that contrast, right? Like, even though there's a lot of, like, planning and pre production for, like, some of his, like, stream ideas, there's still, like, a sense of, like, familiarity. Okay, time to go home.
Wait, can I not? Ferment the honey? Maybe it goes in the kegs? I think- does it really go in the kegs? Does it say we're back on? Are you back? Nice, we're back. Okay, cool. We love F protection. Okay. Cool. Back to it. <clears throat> okay, so kind of like today, I kind of want to just... I would just go straight to mining. Ooh, a 12 freaking gate! We need to buy that apple tree. We absolutely need to buy that apple tree. Oh, we also need to do gifts because it's a Friday, too. <clears throat> Ooh, the egg festival! Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna get enough leaks. No shot. Let's get another question. Do you prefer to shop online or in store? It depends on the product, let's be honest. Like, if it's like a craft supply, I don't mind buying it online. Because like with that type of product, even if you buy it in store, you can't really try it until you buy it, right? Like the only thing like I would buy in person, that like I insist that I have to buy in person, would have to be clothing. Mainly because like, my body type like, I'm really sure a lot of stuff doesn't fit properly like seams don't line up correctly plus like I'm plus size um, so it's harder to find stuff that fits like well it's like for clothing even if like online it says like a large or like an extra large sometimes it won't fit and like sometimes I could fit into a medium like I don't get it Also, like buying food too like you can't like try it until you buy it so it's like i don't mind buying like snacks and stuff online like we bought like hella japanese snacks and candies for christmas oh my god so good japanese kit kats are god's here
Okay, so what can we give to people? We can probably give people honey. Got our gifts ready. I'm gonna transport or teleport to the mine. And then just work. Oh, I forgot to get this guy a gift earlier this week, Sag. Also, minus two. Man. How would you define success? Ugh, cliche, but like, if you're just happy with what you're doing. And also, in terms of, like, being able to, like, stably support yourself and not have to worry about, like, outside stresses. Especially, like, monetary stresses. I think also success includes, like, some sort of, like, social recognition. In terms of either, like, approval from, like, family, friends, like, your local community, or... Um... Or, like, from, like, people you don't know. So, like, online people, I guess. A combination of those three, I guess, would be stereotypical success. But as long as you're, like, happy, content, you're not struggling, then I think you're good. Because everyone has their own definition of what they deem successful for themselves. He's got another one. What do you do when you're bored? Scroll TikTok. <laughs> it's bad, but like social media, it's it, it's bad because like they're basically time wasters or like passing the time. That's all they really are. In like, I know I could be like doing more and like spend less time just scrolling, right? But also, like, it's it's cool to see, like, there's so many people online, there's so many different types of people, and it's really nice to, like, gain that added perspective, I guess. Where is Harvey? He, he might be at the library. I don't think anyone has not liked the honey. Oh, she wants the uh, fermented potatoes. And he is here. Everyone likes the honey. I don't think many people are going to come by the bar since it's raining, unfortunately. Where's Kent? Come here. Does Haley like honey? Yes. I don't think I have many gifts left. I didn't grab enough. You might like a duck feather? Oh, yes! It's the weird shit.
Yes, he's not a mayo guy. I don't have any gifts, so I might go back home, get some gifts, and then come back to the bar. He's got another question. Who's the most famous person you've met? I haven't met anybody famous. I don't think I've seen anybody. I'm silly, because I, I don't go to concerts, because concerts are sus, and also... The only person I saw live was, I saw Jacksepticeye and Markiplier live when they were like popping off. So like, I I didn't do like the meet and greet stuff because like that was like an extra premium price. Like I didn't have money, so I didn't do that. But like I saw them, I guess. <laughs> Oh yeah, I should like the melon. Nice. Sebastian might like melons? Uh, okay, indifferent. I guess that's normal for him. Now we gotta wait for everyone to get here. I'm gonna put my hair up because like it's a bit too frizzy right now. People not gonna show up because oh, Shane's here. Barbie's here. Oh, he had headsets in. I cut. <laughs> I don't know if other people are gonna come in. I think it's too rainy out. Oh, I gotta go to the sewer. Ten K. I forgot to buy the apple tree. God damn it. Can't okay, need that void egg. Um, two. That's two million. Okay. <sighs> Gonna go to the forest. See if there's any leaks. See if it gets ground up a little bit. I have like three zits right where like the top part of my glasses frames are. 
And it's so irritating. Like whenever I push them up, they rub against it, and it's the worst. Like it's not the fun. Mom gave me some leaks. Oh, I gotta give wizard guy. She was here today. Frick. Let's see if I can craft some more beehives. Two. Oh, I need to craft more bars. Yeah, we definitely need to mine tomorrow. So tomorrow, probably just straight to mining once we tend to the farm. What do I need for more kegs? Copper, iron. Crows. I know I could set up scarecrows, but I don't like the scarecrows. I got a DUM. 
Mm, we got quite a bit of leaks, but is it enough? do we need? Oh, two more! Come on! Oh, we just need two more. Okay, we're gonna walk through the woods just to see if there's any Come on, I need leaks. I don't want to let George down. Yo, give me one sec. Yo, my dad called me, he's like, hey, you feed the wood stove? And I'm like, yeah. He's like, okay. <laughs> I was concerned because, like, parents don't, like, call me often. I mean, we live together, so, like, why would they call me? So it's like, whenever I get a call from them, I'm like, oh, fuck, what happened? You know what I mean? Because it always seems like the one time you don't answer, something happened, you know? Give me a leak. Oh, honeys do go in the kegs. Okay. Good to know. Oh, I do have more kegs. Okay.
We need two, just two more leaks. Come on. Let's get a question. Oh, we already did that one. If you could choose to have to use a any use of superpower, what would you pick? I think <laughs> uh, my sister's been really into One Piece, so like I'll watch some of it, but like I don't really like stick around because like I, I haven't watched the stars, so, like I don't know all the lore. But I think like Luffy's power to like stretch is like super cool. <laughs> but like the way he uses it. Uses it in combat is really cool. It's a really interesting mechanic. Also, Elastigirl is hot, so like I'd like to be stretchy. Like I can see it as being useful, but you have to be like skilled in order to use it well, I guess. If you try out any job for a week, what would you choose to try? Ooh. I always liked the show Dirty Jobs a lot when I was litter, little. I think like doing like really strenuous labor for a week would be interesting and gain a lot of perspective. There's not a lot of uh, jobs. I mean, there are a lot of, like, genius labor jobs, but, like, I can see that, like, not being as appreciated with the increase of automation in most workplaces. So, like, I would just like to experience what it's like for a little bit. Not that it'd be fun, but mainly just, like, understand, like, how hard people work to keep, like, society running in terms of, like, trash collectors and city maintenance workers, that type of thing. Where people, like, those kind of jobs go, like, forgotten. But you don't understand how, like, essential they are until, like, your trash is taken out for three weeks and you're like, oh, that's a lot of shit. Right? And it's not sanitary, so... A lot of people work, like, beneath the shadows, I guess. Let's get another one. Do you have any pets? Not right now. I really want a cat. Like, I know it's cliche to like look at like animal videos and get happy, but like I feel like genuine joy whenever I watch like a cute cat video. Like, even if I just see a picture of like my friend's cats, I'm just like, oh my god, like please, I, I wanna pet it. Like, just let me, please. <laughs> But when we were younger, up until I was like 11, we had a pet rabbit. That was cool. I think rabbits, like, they're like nice to have around. They're like usually- ours is really affectionate, so he like, like, nosling with us and stuff. But, like, he was like scared all the time, and I think that was like really stressful, like the underlying feeling that he's just like always anxious and like freaked out about something. And like, that's gonna suck. Like, for the rabbit, I mean. Like, I'm indifferent about, like, having pets because, like, one, it's- yes, it's comforting to, like, have, like, an animal around, but also, like, not that, like, domesticated animals should be free because, like, at that point they're domesticated so they wouldn't necessarily be able to, like, survive healthily, like, in the wild, quote-unquote. But also, it just feels weird. Because, like, I know if I have a cat, I'm not gonna let it outside because I'm, like, I don't want it to run away or, like, I don't want the cat to get, like- Hurt, right? But then it feels like me kind of gross to like feel like you have that much control over something. Like it just feels weird when you like think about it, right? But like I would love a cat. 
if I go to a friend's house, granted it's been a while, but like I will automatically go to the cat and like just hang out with the cat. Let's get another question. What's your favorite song of all time? Oh no. <clears throat> I think my like all time favorite like song that I will always like is Maroon 5, She Will Be Loved. I would sing it, but I don't want to get clapped. That is like whenever that song plays, it has like a very special place. In my heart, I guess. But like current favorites, I really like the Weeknd's Starboy album. The production is really nice. Like it's nice to listen to. Besides like the lyricism. Um, but I love Twin on Pilots. But, like majority of their stuff. I said this before, but Scaled on Ice is kind of mid. But it's I. I'm ready for a more angsty album. <laughs> but like a lot of like older Burn 5 songs I like a lot. Mainly because like those were just always playing in the car. Like on the car ride to school, that type of thing. I wish I could sing it. The range is a bit difficult for some parts. Like, I'm debating whether or not I want to do a singing stream tomorrow. Mainly because, like, I don't know who's going to be home tomorrow. So, I don't know if I'll be able to. I kind of want to try and do like something just chatting like every other week, like plan like a segment or a bit to do for just chatting. I think that'd be fun. But like for that type of stuff, you gotta plan stuff. So I'm working on like different concept ideas I can do right now, or just like brainstorming. Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna get any leaks, unfortunately. Oh my god, it's so dark. <laughs> No, come on. <gasps> yes! Oh, what? We just need one more leak. Okay, tomorrow we're gonna scourge every single nook and cranny for another leak. <gasps> Finally, truffles! Nice. Let's sell some gems. Okay. 
So, we're going to search every single nook and cranny for a single leak tomorrow. If we have 9k, we need to see what we need to upgrade our house. I don't know if we're going to have enough money, so I'm not going to grab anything. It's either going to be wood or hardwood. So we have 10. There we go. Okay. And we can drop off 12. We need we need to find a single leak tomorrow. That's literally all we need. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> the song's stuck in my head now. Mm, what can we make? Hash brown. Oh my god, I love hash brown. Motherfucker, eat my cauliflower. Might have to buy more seeds. Oh yeah, for sure we'll need more seeds. Just spam, spam an A. <laughs> oh yeah, we definitely need more seeds. I also need to go and buy my stupid fucking apple tree. Buy some seeds and then search for that last freaking leak. <gasps> yes! Oh my god. We lucked out, boys. Okay, so since we got a leak right away, we can buy some seeds, plant some stuff, and then go mine. Twelve. Yeah, there'll be just enough time for some cauliflowers. So let's buy like fifteen. I think that's good. That should be good for now.
<laughs> She's so sweet. Let's go. Ooh, 2K. Sheesh. Okay, so let's go see how much a house upgrade costs. Ooh, 50k. My god. 50k in a hardwood. Let's see if Maru likes cranberries. Okay, I guess she kinda does? Question mark? Okay, let's get a question. What is your favorite hangout spot? Honestly, my room. And like just going out, I really like going on like the little, like not too hardcore trails, but like just like the casual ones, like paved. And like just going on walks is nice. Like we have one that runs around the like through the center of our town, and it's really nice. Or like just hanging out at the city park, you know, loitering, as punk kids do. like expand on the answers more but i'm just like out of it today <laughs> like i might say like a power nap later because i want to edit some more videos today because with i don't clip many of like the stardew streams because a lot of the times where i talk is just answering questions so it's not like gameplay based so like it's harder to find like a good clip for that so like i've used you just in clipping like the mario kart or the odyssey mods so like what i do is I will try and clip like at least three highlights from each VOD and then pre-set up Adobe Premiere files in like different folders. Like it's it's so organized, oh my god. Um, that way like when I'm in the mood to edit, like I'll plug in my flash drive and then have like projects ready to start on. Like I might do that later today after I like rest for a little bit. Also, I'm sad that her song got banned. I mean, like, I understand why it came to that point, but also, like, I understand it, but also, like, it's kind of like how you're in school and, like, little Timmy doesn't get in trouble when you guys did the same thing. Kind of like the way I see it. Like, Vouch got, like, perma banned, and it's like, what? insane like it's just mind-boggling to me how like some tos stuff gets enforced and some doesn't as severe compared to other people but supposedly he's gonna be on ludwig's youtube stream so we're gonna try and see if that's gonna be on later i mean that's gonna be really cool because like Lud ludwig is pog And oh my god, an amaranth hot tub bit. Like, supposedly that's what they were planning. Oh my god, that would have been, like, so fucking good. I know, like, you said on Twitter that they're gonna do it on the H3 podcast, which is, like, that's gonna be insane. It's just, like, the production through the crew they have. I can see, like, the bits being taken, like, further. Mm. Just based on, like, the production... The level of production they're able to do. Like, the H3 crew. So like that's that's for sure gonna be good content if they do do it with Ethan. So like I'm I'm looking forward to that hardcore. 
that's what like I'm like excited for. Like, if I ever get to the point where like I can dedicate like actual time and actual money to like creating, whether it be like short of form stuff or like long form like streaming or like YouTube, like just thinking of like just good content seems so fun to me. Because right now, like I'm, I'm not too concerned about hitting affiliate. Cause like, I'm indifferent about like people like being like, ooh, pass to affiliate, like that type of grind set. But also like, you just have to make good stuff. Like, right now, like, I don't look at my analytics because like I will cry. Because right now, I'm just trying to focus on like building my personality, I guess, and like my commentary style, like. Uh, my friend was telling me yesterday that I'm like my delivery is like really dry which is like that's just how like <laughs> i am irl like i'm very like neutral i guess like i need to work not that i want to be like super extra but like i need to work on like establishing what my commentary style is going to be because i can be kind of preachy with certain things and i don't know like how many people will like that per se I'm also very rambly, so like I can get going if it's a topic that I'm like kind of into. I think the best thing about launching the clips accounts is one seeing like just a little bit, like even the tiniest bit of like growth seeing on it in like a relatively short amount of time. Like I didn't pop off. Like, I'm not famous from it, but like, it's still like, nice to see. Like, more likes and more views for that type of content. Because I'm, I'm only seeing like, good numbers on TikTok for the clip stuff. Which is fine. Like, that's what I figured out of IG, YouTube, and TikTok. I figured TikTok would perform the best. Just based on like, the TikTok algorithm. But... Because like, I like TikTok. Like, I think the con... Lip syncing content is kind of mid. To me, it's, it doesn't encourage creativity. Like, yes, the post to where, like, people will, like, add something, like, really artistic or, like, change the shots of a big tooth lip sync. I think that's really creative. But, like, if people just lip sync and they're, like, sitting, like, just doing this, right? Kind of mid. Like, it's kind of like, what's going to make you stand out from everyone else lip syncing the sound, right? Because, like, I've thought, like, I've generally considered, like, doing, like, the really baby, like, lip syncy type Twitch content for TikTok. But it's, like, how many people are going to, like, consume it and enjoy it? Because it's, like, you see people with, like, 2k on TikTok and then, like, 100 on Twitch, for example. And it's kind of, like, the content you do on TikTok is not what you do on Twitch, right? So, like, if you're trying to promote your Twitch, I would think... You should post content that's relevant to what you do on the stream if you're going to be promoting that specifically. Like, if I ever do, like, more, like, personal stuff, I do it on, like, my main account. On my main account, I had singing stuff, which I haven't posted in, like, two weeks. Because I was at the point where, like, it wasn't, like, creative enough, I guess. Because it was just, like, mini covers. So it was mainly, like, I guess highlighting my talent. But there wasn't much in the video creative wise besides just like singing the song. Like I could have done my shots a bit artsier, I could have like done cuts and stuff, I could have added after effects, that type of thing. And I think if I ever touch that account, my main account again, like I I need to do more creative stuff on it. Like, I'm very critical of myself, like, that's why, like, I didn't start creating content until I had, like, relatively a good amount of time to dedicate to it. Because, like, if I was working part-time or full-time even, like, I don't see myself being as motivated to do it, I guess. Because when you're already investing so much of your time and energy into, like, just working to, like, support yourself, like, it's hard to give your full effort into, like, 
your creative endeavors. And like, that's why like, when I was working full or double time, like I didn't draw much either because I was already so exhausted from like my normal day where like, I couldn't commit any more energy towards creating, like just drawing. Okay, time to go home. Okay, so I need to make more iron bars. It... That way I can make more kegs. Okay, and then here. Okay, so we gotta plant our seeds that we bought earlier. Because I'd be sad if I forgot to plant them. Rearrange a little bit. Oh, frick. There we go. Okay. And then I'm going to swap out the cranberries for a different one because I only have one left. Cranberries are pretty good with energy. Okay, I'll have to get more once winter com or fall comes around. Okay, so we should be ready for the next week. Just more grinding and such. Oh, I didn't sell anything. That sucks. Okay, let's go ahead and save. And then we're gonna call it a day. Um. Yeah, so as I said earlier, I might do singing tomorrow. If I don't do singing, I'm for sure we'll do Mario Kart, because Mario Kart is just fun. Um, I've touched a little bit of online off-stream, and like I got like a little bit better with online. Because you just have to make sure you're using your items well. You also have to account for like lag and stuff, so hopefully I don't take too many L's. But yeah, so I will be back again tomorrow, same time, 11 a.m. PST, and with more Mario Kart. Maybe singing. I don't know. But yeah. I will see everyone tomorrow. Okay. Bye.